let's come to the last part of our lecture here of the motivation of fluid flow problems, of the motivation of a module fluid dynamics. And I told you in the last chapter of the presentation that the examination of fluid flow is a main driver for innovation of new products, of new technologies and of new solutions for daily problems. And how can we do it here? We can also build the prototype, we can make experiments in our laboratories, we can make with the cut tools or with the CFD tools three-dimensional models and then we can make fluid flow problems. We can visualize the, the forces or the pressures or the velocities and then we can estimate better geometries. We can optimize our geometries. Here for example you see the mathematical model of a 2.8 megawatt windmill plant. Here the model. You can see it. We can decide the, the dimensions, the diameter of the rotor or the height of the rotor and then we make computational fluid dynamics simulation. We can visualize the swirls around the turbine and we can make decide better geometries. We can print it with our 3D printer. We can make models. We can examine the models in reality. We can make visualization of the flow and then we can build them and test them in our laboratories. That's also something we want, normally want to do in this seminar. Yeah? Topic of the seminar should be that we build together a wing, we build a small windmill, we print it and we will test it here in the laboratory. So, first I want to Thank you for listening to this lecture. I hope it was not too long. I hope it was not too boring. Yeah, it's an introductional chapter. Maybe it's a bit boring. But I think in the next lecture it will be more interesting if I show you something about how to solve exercises. But and here we have also a nice picture. It's a good visualization. It was their windmills in the fog. We have a cloud. And you see after the windmills the condensation of water and you get an impression of the turbulence. Uh, I think this picture is really nice. So I want to thank you for your attention. And now I want to mention the first exercise you have to do. Please, I will present you every week on Moodle an exercise. Try to solve this exercise at home. Please make a PowerPoint presentation about the exercise and send me this PowerPoint via Moodle. So, how can you do this? Um, I told you it's a complex problem. We have three dimensional geometries. Can imagine a car or airplane or a windmill it's a really complicated geometry it's not so easy to solve it by hand and pencil on paper so we need a software tool and here you should use ANSYS CFX you please you can download this tool in the internet if you register you get a free of charge version for students please download this software, install it on your computer and then you can follow up my exercise. I will make always small movies to teach you how to use a program and what you should do. You should follow the exercises, you should make the simulations, you should present them on PowerPoint slides 
and then please always send me the slides via Moodle so we can discuss it and if you have problems ask me, try to chat with me, try to go to Microsoft Teams and so we try to solve your problems. So first step, please down, follow the link here and download the student's version of ANSYS CFX. That's the tool we work with. And to learn it, you have to solve a first example. A good description of this example is also inside the exercise sheet number one you will find on the Moodle homepage. And it's a classical fluid dynamic problem. It's called backward facing step. We have fluid flow from this side over a small step. And the fluid flow goes over the step and what happens um, stream upwards the step, we will get a swirl and a turbulence here, you can see it here. And this is in literature really good measured, it's a well-known problem and it's also a really easy geometry if you compare it to a car or to, a, um, to an airplane and I think it's a good example to start with, the step example. The details of the dimensions and the details of the geometry can be also found in the literature. It's well described and please refer to the exercise sheet to get the right dimensions. And please follow up the um, movie where I present how to do it with the Andes workbench. So, And additionally, there's some literature about the topics I presented to you in this 